Hello YouTube and welcome to another Marvel video. Today we're talking about these buggers. Backup batteries. Now as you can see from this, this backup battery hasn't really gone too bad. Now it still hasn't leaked out too much and there's no damage done to the board. But if you leave it This is what you end up with. Now, if you look at the board around here, you can see the damage, the leakage has been done. It does extensive damage to the board. It can sever the traces, which sometimes you'll never be able to repair. In this case, it hasn't done too much damage, um, but we still need to remove this battery. I'm going to show you how to do that because I'm going to desolder this one before it causes any more damage. Basically in any vintage computer you should always, always remove the backup battery and change it. For the simple fact of once that battery starts leaking, the board is dead. So we're going to go ahead and remove this one before it becomes a problem. So I'm going to get in there. Wait for the solid to melt and you just pull it. Boom, cut it out. Do the other side. And once again, there we have it. Battery's out. It can no longer harm any more boards. So there we go. No problem at all. So what we can do now is get a actual removable battery socket. That one looks not bad. Now by doing that, it would safeguard against any type of leakage. Here's a really big example of damage done to a motherboard. Check out this. That top coating. God, no good. Remember guys, corrosion really damages motherboards or any PCBs, if you have vintage equipment with them, remove it immediately. Don't leave it in there, don't take the chance, it could completely destroy the motherboard. In which case, unfortunately, this board does not work anymore, and it's going to require quite extensive work to find out what's going on. So, I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. Well, thanks for watching guys, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.